Hey, YouTubers and YouTubies, it's Michelle again from Gothic Reborn Nursery and Wit and Whimsy Reborn Nursery. Two different nurseries I have. One for regular babies, where I do customs of baby pictures, or just make a doll. Yeah, tell me you want a doll with green eyes and blonde hair, and you choose a kit, and I make your baby. Or, uh, you send me the picture and then I find the kit and we talk about that and I make the baby off of that. As well as Gothic Reborn Nursery, which I posted a video yesterday of a Morgan kit that I got yesterday to make into a zombie. Today, uh, Andrea's baby has arrived. This is Elliot. Now, I've just painted one layer of flesh tone on Elliot. That's why he's shiny. Because we're waiting for his paint to flash off. Elliot has kind of a... I don't know. Grumpy face. <laughs> I guess I'd call it a grumpy face. Um, you can't really tell right here because uh, he doesn't have any eyeballs, but um, his facial expression is slightly grumpy. Now, I'm doing actually two Elliots at the same time. Here's another one that is just a regular custom. Somebody's asked me to do a custom of them as a baby, and uh, this is the perfect kit for her. So this is um, two layers of flesh. There's some veining on there. Um, and a layer of blushing. And you can see the difference already between the two. This is just one layer of flesh like this one got. This one will get another layer. And then the blushing will not be red and pink and cute. It will be purple because Andrea wants her baby to look just like my Juliet baby, which is what uh, Rebecca wanted her Morgan to look like. So apparently Juliet's a hit. I, I was just making Juliet for myself so that I could take her to movies and stuff and freak people out when I go to the scary movies. Here's uh, one of Elliot's hands. I really love this particular hand on this kit. Um, I just think in the pictures when I take them, the detail on the hand, which you can't see because my camera is really stupid. It's more focused on me than on the object in front of it. Um, this hand looks just amazing to me. I just love it. Now what I was thinking about doing for Andrea's baby, and um, Morgan's baby has an open hand as well. I was thinking about doing it for Morgan as well. Was sticking a magnet inside the hand they each have a closed hand and an open hand. And what I wanted to do, I'm thinking, I haven't decided yet if I wanted to do it, is stick a magnet in there. So let's say, let's say that you have a, I don't have a baby bottle on my desk, but we'll pretend that this is a baby bottle. It's hand sanitizer. Let's say that this is a baby bottle and inside it there's fake formula that you make with glue or you use detergent and whatever you know it's not real formula because real formula will mold and spoil and stuff but you have something that has a magnet inside of it as well and wherever the magnet is against the magnet in the hand naturally it would stick so the baby could hold something a toy zombies can hold a little piece of meat and they could have it in their hand, or a little brain, or a little heart that you find. Halloween's perfect for that type of thing. When those uh, holidays come around, you can find all kinds of little props for your for your baby, and then you stick a magnet in it, and it would stick. I'm thinking about doing that. I haven't decided yet. Here's uh, Elliot's other hand. Is open, and can hold something thin. Let's see, um, this is great to just have to make when he's got that decay look to have your finger in and there it's vinyl so it, it, it's flexible even when it's painted it'll be okay um, but he'll be all you know purple looking so his fingertips are going to be all purple and his hands going to be purple and against your flesh it looks like he's going to want to try to eat you so that's a cool thing about that particular arm. A uh, cool feature about Elliot that I'm not sure a lot of people know is that he's got full arms. That's a full arm, meaning when I put it on the kit, he's going to have a shoulder. 
most kits have a three-fourth arm and the, they've got a cloth piece that comes down to right about there and you have a cloth shoulder and then the rest of it is vinyl but Elliot happens to come as a three-fourth I mean as a full vinyl uh, arm and so that means that the Elliot's doll or Elliot's kit like just like the one I'm doing that's a regular baby can wear regular clothes that you know open open shoulder clothes like a little halter top or something except they're gonna have cloth body so you gotta take that into account as well um, but you don't have to have any sleeves on the on the on the items because usually the clothes will cover up their chest and everything here's one of Elliot's feet I like the way Elliot's feet look as well. They're not my favorite feet by any means, but I I, I do I do appreciate them because they look real. Elliot's kind of a chunky baby. He's not a skinny little baby. He will be just like Morgan. If I bought the regular body for him, a preemie, he's going to be 18. So I'm going to get a larger body for Elliot, just like I'm, I did for Morgan, to make Elliot a longer baby so that Elliot can wear smaller newborn clothes. It's hard to find. It's usually zero to three months um, clothes, but uh, you could find preemie clothes that are large and they will fit the Elliot kit and the Morgan kit perfectly. Here's the other foot. And I think I like this foot better. And I think I like it because the toe is up. And I just think that's a cute character thing. They got cute wrinkles on them, and I wish my camera would pick that up. But you can't tell it. Anyway, that's that's Elliot. You might be able to see a little bit better with the painted one. Let me see. So here's the hand. Uh, I've rosed up the hand a little bit. I don't think you can really tell, but there's blushing on the knuckles and blushing right here on the back, and there's uh, blushing on the inside of the hand. That's exactly how it would be, but in purple. See, there's blushing right here in the crease right there. That would be purple. For a zombie, blushing on the elbow would be purple. Um, that's, that's it for for Elliot, so I've got two babies, two zombie baby girls in production at the moment. Elliot is currently still flashing off. That's what the shine is, is that's the wet paint trying to dry. It's an oil heat based paint and you have to let that you have to let all that flash come off before you put it in the in the oven to bake it on. But once it's all all non shiny you can go ahead and do that. You can see there's a dry spot right there. Yep, yeah, that's a dry already. So uh, that's going to be Elliot's going to be the new zombie baby in the Gothic Reborn Nursery, and uh, we'll be going home to Andrea, who lives here in Oklahoma, where I'm at. I know Andrea personally. Um, I know this baby's mommy. She's crazy. <laughs> no, she's not crazy. Well, define crazy. <laughs> I just Andrea's really, really. Cool. She's writing a book uh, right now that she was in the middle of writing another book and publishing something, and I can't remember what I was saying. I said something about blah, 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 zombies and blah, 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 zombies. And she said, I'm going to write a book about zombies. And I said, in playing, well, make sure you dedicate it to me because I want some royalties. And she said, okay. <laughs> well, after that... After that, I said, I, I, should, I should make you a zombie baby, and then you put the zombie baby on the cover. And then you and I would go on book tours. I'm playing the whole time. I'm just being silly. I'm not meaning any of it. <laughs> I, you know, if she makes a success off a zombie book, that's great. If it's dedicated to me, that's even greater. If I get royalties, we're talking. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, I said, I said, I should make you a zombie baby. And then, this is a while ago we're talking about this. This is way before Christmas, I think. I said, I should make you a zombie baby so that when you have your photo done for the cover, you can use your zombie baby. So I've had her go through some kits and look for the right one. And she was choosing between Elliot and uh, Juliet, the one that I'm doing, the one that everybody seems to like right now. And I said, now, if you want a sweet-looking zombie, you'd pick 
Juliet, but if you want a gnarly, vicious, hard-looking zombie, you'd pick Elliot, and she picked Elliot, because, you know, mostly zombies are, you know, hungry and mean and not happy campers, so Elliot is her baby, and he is, like I I did with uh, Morgan, a small baby. You can see he just fits his head right in the palm of my hand, so he's considered a preemie. Unless I get that longer body, which would make him be 20 inches instead of 18. And 20 inches is a small newborn. My son was 22, and he didn't even wear his newborn stuff. His newborn stuff swallowed him completely. It was huge on him. His head was big, and he was an eight, um, almost an 8-pound baby. But his body was really, really skinny. And um, his head was huge, though. He had big, chunky cheeks and... You know, those kind you like to pinch. <laughs> you can't tell it now, because now he's skinny. And his head's still big, but only because of an ego. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, this is Andrea's baby. Um, the Gothic Reborn Nursery will be producing another baby. Uh, everybody who sees this should congratulate Andrea for being a Gothic Reborn Nursery pregnant. She's a zombie pregnant right now and awaiting the uh, arrival of her, her newest nightmare um, for her production. And she'll use it as inspiration for her writing and stuff. But anyway, Andrea, congratulations. Elliot says hello. Everybody out there in uh, YouTube land, have a great day. Bye.